tell you what, we couldn't be more excited after about a year and a half worth of work to announce that you can download Identikey in both the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store right now. Now, I wanna give you a couple new um, demonstrations, talk over a few features, how they work, what we were thinking, to hopefully give you the best understanding so you can start looking up keys and identifying them. Now, if you don't know what Identikey is and you're like, PJ, hey, well, you, what's going on here? Let me just back up and let you know what Identikey is. Identikey is an app that identifies key blanks with pictures. So all you have to do is you take a picture of both sides of key, it searches it, and it tells you what the part number is. We have about 2,000 different keys in our database, and we're adding keys all the time. We plan to get to five, six, 7,000 different keys in the database as quickly as we possibly can. So if you need to identify keys and you don't wanna be using an old book anymore, you don't wanna be doing random internet searches and spending tons and tons of time of trying to look for a key, Identikey is going to be the answer that you've been looking for. Now, the cool part is it doesn't require anything but your phone, right? Um, and you just download the app and then you can immediately start taking photos of keys or uploading them and finding the key that you've been looking for. The cool part about this is we didn't just focus on like the ILCO only keys or JMA only keys. We really wanna get the full spectrum of the OEM and the keys that people actually are looking to get duplicated. So we have about 2,000 keys in the database. We're trying to add around at least 100 a month, hopefully more than that, but that's what we're gonna keep doing until we get really the biggest, the largest, and the best key blank database that's ever existed. That's our goal, and we're working at it all the time. That's enough talking. Let's get in to have a little bit of fun, and let, let me give you a couple examples here and talk through some of the features and how it works. Let's go. All right, so for our first example here is I'm gonna take this double-sided RV key and we're going to identify it. We're gonna talk through it a little bit here. So there's the key on Identikey. Now, if you scroll up a little, you can see a little question mark. You can click on that and you can watch a more of an in-depth tutorial on what to do and what not to do. Um, but uh, we're gonna go here and click find the key. Now, we wanna take a photo of the uh, first side of the key here and you can see the, uh, the image orientation, how it goes, right? Head up, blade down. That's how we, we always wanna take photos here. So we're gonna click the, click the take photo button. And then from here, we can either upload a photo from our library. In other words, a customer or someone could send you a picture of a key and you'd be able to identify the blank just from the pictures they send you. Or in this case, we're gonna hit take photo. Now I'm gonna get the uh, camera up here, my phone up, about, I don't know, a foot, 10 inches or so um, up. And the reason we're gonna do that here is um, if I put it too low, you can see how it has all of this, uh, these shadows and all that. You know, we, we wanna be able to see the keyway. So we're gonna be able to just pinch zoom in. So about a foot up, pinch zoom in. There you go, you can see a nice image. Go and take that one. There you go. And um, of course you want it to be clear and looking pretty good. That one's decent. And while we hit proceed and it goes to the next side, we're gonna flip the key over. Now I realize it is a double-sided key and it's the same cuts on both sides. We still want to flip it over, okay? So we'll go take photo, bring it up about 10 inches, pinch zoom on in, get to about right there. There we go, there's the other side. Hit proceed. Now, when we get to this next screen, it's just gonna show us our two images here. And um, you just really wanna make sure um, that they're the photos that you uploaded and you know make sure they look decent. So once you do that, hit find key. Now it's going to try to find the key that's closest in our database, okay? So if it's not in our database, it's not gonna bring up that key, it's gonna bring up the closest things to the database. So if you can see here, um, as you can see, it brought up the FIC3 uh, plastic head key, which is exactly what this key is. Now, this is the cool part. If um, you want a closer look or you'd like to buy the key, you can click on the buy now button. And inside the app here, you can see on the bottom, it opened up in the CLK tab and it brings up the beautiful 360 image here that once you stop it, you can scroll around and you can look at it and you can make sure it's the key you're actually looking for, right? So that's really cool. And of course, you can always scroll down here and um, purchase them if you'd like. Now. To get back to, to the Identikey results, just click here, Identikey on the bottom, and it's gonna bring you right back to there. Now, 
every time you search for a key, it's gonna give you five results no matter what. So, and definitely don't expect all five to be relevant. Um, and let's scroll through them and look at them here. So this is the right key, the first one, let's go to the next. Okay, so this is essentially a purple headed version of the FIC3 key. You can see it right there as well. Um, Next up, this looks like it's a pre-cut pre global link key. This one would not be, uh, you know, the right one for us in this situation. Um, go to the next, here we go. So here's the FIC3 uh, metal headed key, which would also work. And then lastly, there's a 1605, which you can kind of see why it would kind of think it could be that key. Um, I've never even tried to see if one will work doubt it, but who knows, might be interesting. Okay, so those are the results. You're always gonna get them, you can scroll through them, and that's what you can um, expect there. So now, a couple important things I wanna point out though, is you can click find another key, and it's gonna bring you to um, back to the start where we can find another key, or if you don't see any of the results, any of the, the keys you're looking for and you can provide us some sort of feedback, I would personally love it. All you would need to do is click key, your key's not in the results. It's gonna bring up this little uh, box here and just say, you know, this is a RV key. Um, or whatever, maybe maybe you know it knew it was a FIC uh, three key. Okay, whatever it might be, as much information as you can do to send me and um, go ahead and hit submit. <laughs> And um, we really appreciate that. And I'll be able to look at that on the back end and, and see if I can't get it figured out. Now, in the meantime, we'll click find another key and let's find another key. So we got this key ring here. Um, let's, let, let's go with this mailbox key here, okay? Um, yeah, why not? All right, so let's do this one. So now you can keep it on the key ring or you can take it off. Best results will always be with it taken off because there's a few extra variables in play I'll talk about in a moment, but you can leave it on. And, for, and, and the truth is once you use the app a few times, keeping a key ring on is really not that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and uh, find this uh, mailbox key. All right, so we have that there. Let's go and take a photo of the first side. So we're gonna bring it down in there. So since it has a key ring right, I'm just chopping the rest of the, the key ring off and um, we'll hit next while we're or proceed while we're doing that. We'll go ahead and flip the key over, take photo, pin zoom in a little bit, get it nice and square on there, just like that. Hit proceed. Now the main thing here, since this is a single sided key, so there's only cuts on one side, it's really important that we just double check here that you can see there's, you know, each side is listed, which you can see there. So go ahead and find this key. And let's take a look at the results here. All right, so as you can see here, the first result, this is a NA14, which is actually what this key is. Um, but let's go ahead and look through the results here for a minute. So the next key up is gonna be a NA12. Now, a NA12 is the longer version of the NA14. So um, if you were looking for the longer version, that would be helpful potentially, or if it got it reversed, um, you know, that's something there to look at. Next up is just a, is another NA12, a brass version of it. And the next up is a 1646 and then a 1646R. So the cool thing about this example is it really shows you, you know, if it gets the key right the first time, okay, from there, all it can do is pick other keys, you know, is what it's gonna do just based on how how similar they are. So it's going to have 14 and a 12 and a 12, 1646, 1646R. So that's what those results are gonna look like. Um, and they could be powerful depending on the situation or circumstance. And I actually wanna give you one more example here. I told you two, but let's do three here. Let's go to find another key. And I wanna do this one here. Okay, and um, let's go and take a photo. I'll just do this one really quick. Okay, got the one side. All right, let's make sure we got one on each side here and let's look at the results. All right, one side there. Yeah, you can see I kind of did that weird, like way more zoomed out. Let's replace it. Um, let, let's just replace that really quick. I don't. I don't know why it's being kind of weird there, but I was, so I'm gonna, all right, there we go. All right, much better, let's find this key. Now, 
Um, this should be just a Y11, right? Nothing fancy. Um, there we go. Yep. So it's a Y11, but this is something, why we're showing you the results the way we show you, I think is really important with this. Okay. And um, so this is just a Y11 key. It's a fancy looking Y11 key. Now let's go through the results for a minute here. So next is a 1502. Now the thing is, is you could use like, let's say you were out of Y11s. You could use a 1502 in this. It'd work. That, that's really awesome. Next up, 1502 um, M. It looks like that one wouldn't work. 1531 might actually. Um, that one might work. And then a 1574, that one might work as well. And so my point is here is that although Y11 is the proper key for this, you have, it's gonna give you, if possible, other options that might be similar enough to work. So you could be out of one key, but you might have another one that could work. And that's why showing the five results from my perspective and why we built it this way is to really give you that those that detail, that information that can hopefully um, help you. And of course we can click, so let's go to the 1502, let's click by now. And it's gonna pop up once again, of course, on our website, a nice beautiful 360 image, which is really nice if you need to uh, get a close up and you can look at all sides of the key just by scrolling on it. And of course you can always scroll down here and by now, so how about that? Back to identity and there you go. So that's three examples for you. All right, so there you have it. That's how IdentiKey works. I can't wait for you to download it, start using it. Now remember, if you can't find the key you're looking for, hit that button so you can send some feedback to us, tell us as much information as you can. And I'll personally, right now, be the one looking at this, trying to figure it out. So all of the feedback that you can give me would be amazing. Now, as far as the cost goes, it's $1.99 a month. So that's it. Our kind of thought process behind that truly was a key blank book. Like if you could if you could buy one key blank book and have it always up to date per year, I think it's a really good value and really helpful. That's how we came up with that price. But I'll tell you what, download the app, have some fun, give us some feedback, let's identify those keys, let's take the mystery out of it, and that all starts today. Thank you so much for your support. I look forward to your feedback. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. Congrats, you've made it to the end. Now, I wanna make sure that when you are commenting on our videos that you include the hashtag LockBoss. When you do, you automatically get entered into win one of five free prizes we give away every Tuesday live here on YouTube. So I look forward to reading your comment and responding soon. Until next time.